And hi there, everybody. Welcome to the beat. The Utes were picked to finish fourth in the Mountain West Conference. They didn't do that. They were three spots higher in a tie for first. Today, they were in the Mountain West Tournament title game with San Diego State. Utes were looking for their first tournament title in five years. Not much scoring in the first half, though. Carlin Brown going up with the miss, but look, big Luke Neville was there for the follow. Next trip down. Uh, how wide open is Luke? Uh, way. Utes get their first lead 11-10 with nine minutes left in the first half. But the Aztecs are athletic. Ryan Amoroso. Around Neville, Aztecs build an eight-point lead, but the Utes would make a run in the final minute and a half. Sean Green taking it inside. Cuts the lead to four. And then with time running out, Lawrence Bora, Faker, and nails it at the buzzer to cut the lead to two at the half. A 6-0 run to end the half. The run would continue to start the second. Carlin Brown ties it at 20. Then Luca Dercha, the alley-oop to Brown, and the Utes regain the lead. Then Bora out on the run. And the Utes complete a 14-0 run to take a six-point lead. Under four minutes to play now. The lead is down to three. Luke Kareem Neville with the sky hook to get it back up to five. Final 10 seconds now. Utes up four. Richie Williams got the three. After Bora hit one of two free throws, down by two. Aztecs have a chance to tie it. Here comes Richie Williams, and Sean Green steals it. And the ball game is over, and Utah has Yes, it is over. Let the celebration begin. The Utes win the Mountain West title for the first time since 2004. 52-50 is your final. Luke Neville with 10 of his 18 in the second half to go along with 15 rebounds. Bora finishing with 12. And the Utes get that automatic big bid to the big dance. Tom Kirkland is in Las Vegas now. And, Tom, what a storybook season for Jim Boylan and his youth, huh? Yeah, they're adding a few chapters to the Utah football team's amazing story. Two years ago, this Utah basketball team, most of these kids anyway, won a total of 11 games. But tonight, 24 and 6, they're the Mountain West regular season and tournament champions. And sitting alone now on top of the mountain, the scene courtside was a lot like the Sugar Bowl. Love fest. Definitely. I mean, our fans definitely showed up today. I mean, they've shown up all year and gave us great support. And it just feels nice to finally win it and show them that we're a team that they can be proud of. Uh, it feels good. You know, the last time, you know, we did something like this and went to the tournament, you know, football won their championship in the conference and everything. So, you know, I guess history repeats itself. And I saw you weeping in the post game interview. Yeah, it's just hard. You know, it's. When you put so much time into something, you want to build something, and you want it so bad. And um, you know, I wanted my guys to have success. They've worked so hard and given so much. Um, it's just emotional for me. The crowd's chanting, "We love Boylan." Yeah. They don't know me very well. <laughs> it was a struggle early, but then you go on a 16 to two run end of the first half, beginning of the second. Yeah, you know, we're, we're a great team, and you know, our shots weren't falling in the first half. So we just kind of picked our heads out. We just we knew we could play great D. It's happened to us 10, 15 times this year, and I knew our offense would come around, and it did. And um, I thought our conditioning, our depth, you know, our energy level was awesome for the third game in uh, you know three days. Really. And Lawrence Barra hits a three. You hit another huge three, 10 second half points. What is it about your makeup that allows you to come through at crunch time? Uh, I don't know. I mean. I've been playing in like pressure environments all my life, so you know you just gotta step up and make big shots. And you didn't do a whole lot offensively, but at the end you made a huge steal. Yeah, uh, I just saw Richie Williams going all the way. Try to keep him in front of me. He's too fast for me, so I got on the side. Uh, he bobbled the ball a little bit, and I happened to get my hand in there at the right time to get a steal. Sean Green made a heck of a steal. Big play. <laughs> great you know we did everything you know possible to get the highest seat we could you know we knew we had to win this tournament to get you know to get where we wanted to be and you know we got it done there's nothing co cool about this right exactly this is outright it's really difficult to win a regular season and then back it up with a conference tournament title yeah well we're not sharing this one brother we got it all by ourselves Hey. Now we have the Mountain West women's title game the Utes and Aztecs Utes down four four and a half to play Katie Whipple on the back door, count it. She made the free throw, and that cut the lead to one. Now under three minutes to play. Morgan Warburton. 
Drains the three, and the Utes take a one-point lead. Next trip down the floor, Warburton just beats the shot clock, put the Utes up by three, and they would hang on to win the Mountain West title and the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. 63-57 is your final. Warburton leading the way with 24. Whipple scored all over 21 in the second half comeback. Tom Kirkland has their reaction from Vegas. All right, there's no doubt Elaine Elliott's Utes have dominated this Mountain West Conference, winning the regular season title seven times in the 10-year history of the league, but they have struggled here in the conference tournament. However, today, thanks to an 11-0 run in the last four minutes, fueled by Conference Player of the Year Morgan Warburton, the Utes are celebrating again their third conference tournament championship overall and second in the last four years. We have tried so hard that people keep saying we have the Vegas curse, but I think we just broke that. It just feels good to get a win here. You know, just have the teammates that I have, everybody just working hard and doing everything they can to win a game, and we did that this past two days. At most, it's only the fourth time out of ten years that the same teams doubled it up. It's just so hard to do. The league is always so tough. You're often trying to beat people, you know, three times, and beating a good team once is hard enough. Uh, we had split with San Diego State, so you knew it was just kind of the way it should be. You two best players, you and Morgan, combined for 45 points, and you guys both keyed that 11-0 run in the last four minutes. You just took the game over. Uh, you know, me and Morgan had that look. We looked at each other and said, it's now or never. It was about the six-minute mark. We said, Mo, we have to go right now. You know, it's just with my team. You know, they have confidence in me, and I think that feeds off of everything, and my coach has confidence in me. And I gotta have confidence in myself, and I hit that shot, and we're lucky that we got it. I mean, it's just a great experience, great fun. I'm just glad I'm here with the teammates that I am, and it's just been amazing. Well, for now, the Utes can relax and enjoy this experience, kick back and wait to find out who they play and where they go in the NCAA tournament. That selection show is coming up on Monday. Now, we figure the BYU men are locked to get into the NCAA tournament as well. We'll find out what they might have learned from their Vegas experience coming up a little bit later on on Sports Beach Saturday. For now, Rod, we'll send it back to you. All right, former youth players also had their pro day on Monday. Jeremiah Jensen was there on the hill to show us what happened. The seventh Utah sack, the second Alabama turnover. The last time.